Zachary Whip. And I'm Suzanne Banks, and we are the Planned Parenthood Campus Action Interns for Wesleyan. voted to bar federal funding from supporting care through Planned Parenthood's more than 800 health centers across the country, which provide life-saving preventative, preventative care every day of the week. Simply put, their legislative attack will cut off healthcare access to millions of women and men who need it most. This would mean no funding to Planned Parenthood health centers for birth control, life-saving cancer screenings, HIV testing, and other essential care. Today, we are fighting back! Rally along with other student activists like Elijah Meadow and Hannah Adams. Give them a hand. Woo! Woo! And we started playing this a week ago because that's when the House voted on this amendment. I was shocked by the actions of the House representatives and felt deeply targeted as a young woman. The Pence Amendment is an assault on the 40,000 patients who receive Title X care at Planned Parenthood clinics in Connecticut every year. By far, this is the most dangerous legislative assault on women's health in our history, and it cannot go unanswered. We have to remember, your hand. <laughs> and we have to remember that this attack on women is only a part of a larger attack on all public life in this country that's happening right now. The same people in Congress who voted to defund Planned Parenthood also voted to defund NPR, PBS, the Environmental Protection Agency, AmeriCorps, and the Peace Corps. They voted to eliminate food aid to mothers with young children. And these congressional attacks on citizens are being replicated in attacks at the state level too, as with the rights of public workers to organize in Wisconsin, Indiana, and Ohio. But we can look to what's happening in the Middle East right now to remind us that governments everywhere, at the end of the day, are beholden to the people they represent. Thank you all so much for being here today. To stand with Planned Parenthood and with the three million women, men, and teens we serve, who are now at risk of losing access to basic care. We'd also like to thank our pro-choice Governor Dan Malloy and Lieutenant Governor Nancy Wyman for their support. And of course, a special thank you to Judy Tabar, Cecile Richards, and Senator Blumenthal for being here today and supporting Women's Health. Today, we're coming together with our voices, our strength, and our steadfast support for Planned Parenthood, and to show our legislators how important Planned Parenthood is to our lives and to the reproductive justice movement. And we're here to tell them that we must stop this war on women. Today I will tell my story. My story is not rare or outrageous, 
but it is like the stories of so many women and families that Planned Parenthood has helped. Planned Parenthood has made such a difference in my life and really in the life of my family because Planned Parenthood is more than the health care of women, but the health care of families and the health of our society as a whole. Planned Parenthood works to provide for those who have, failed by, who have been failed by the American health care and educational system. I will be sharing my story in the form of a letter written to Planned Parenthood. Dear Planned Parenthood, thank you very much. When I was in junior high and high school and had little reliable information about sex and sexuality, I turned to you and your website for information. I knew that I could find honest facts from you and that you would not try to manipulate the decisions I made and wanted to make about my body. You were able to do what my schools failed to do, provide accurate, unbiased information that I could easily access. Throughout college, I have turned to you again. You helped me figure out the kind of birth control that would work best for my lifestyle. You and the interns that work for you have distributed countless condoms and lube that have allowed for my boyfriend and I to have been able to have a safer and pleasurable sex life without fear of STDs or decisions that would follow. I am able to graduate next year and I will be the first woman in my family to obtain a BA because I was not impregnated during or directly after high school like my fellow family members were. Right. Thank you for how you have helped my mom. Throughout her life she relied upon you for contraception and health care. When she was 15, she had little information about sex, and soon after becoming sexually active, became pregnant. After the loss of her first child from birth complications, she wanted to be able to have control over future pregnancies and her sex life as a whole. During her teens and 20s, from you she obtained numerous pap smears, gynecological exams, and birth control when she could not afford to go anywhere else. She has told me that she would not have been able to have had the life she had as a musician and artist without your help. Also, with your help, she was able to plan her family. You provided the support and health care throughout her youth that allowed her to have a child, me, when she, <laughs> when she felt that she would be able to emotionally and financially support it. You allowed my mother to have a planned parenthood. Your to return to high school while remain sexually active after the loss of her first child. You have allowed for us to empower ourselves and our lives, and you have trusted women with the right to make decisions about their own bodies. You have been a steady beam of hope and reassurance to me. You have protected and supported women and families for so long while it seems like everyone else is trying to take away our rights. Thank you for standing by those who have been left alone. Thank you for everything. Thank you for standing by me. I will stand by you.